Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. If you're anything like me, you were probably drawn into electronics by the lure of creating your own robot. Now, bipedal robots are difficult, but if you've worked with the SparkFun Inventors Kit in the last two and a half years, you'll know that making a robot that moves on its own can be as simple as two motors. Of course, there's still that giant tangle of wires leading from your control board to your motor driver. Well, we're here to make life easier and tidier for you with the new SparkFun Quick Motor Driver. Using the same 4245 PSOC and two-channel motor ports as the SparkFun Serial Controlled Motor Driver, the Quick Motor Driver is designed to communicate over I2C, but can also be UART controlled. It offers 1.5 amp peak drive per channel with a steady output rate of 1.2 amps. It operates from 3 to 11 volts DC with a 12 volt absolute max, good if you like the smell of smoke in the morning. It has a default VCC and logic of 3.3 volts and 127 levels of DC drive strength. It offers direction inversion on a per motor basis, multiple I2C addresses to allow for daisy chaining, and has a thermal conduction pad on the bottom of the board. And while the board is designed to run just fine without adding additional heat sinks, they can easily be adhered to this thermal conduction area if you feel your board is getting a little too warm. As I said earlier, if you've worked with the Sparkman Inventors Kit and used a motor driver, then you know that you're looking at about 10 hookup wires to go from the redboard to the motor driver to gain independent control of your two motors. Now with the quick motor driver, not only do you have the ease and convenience of a single quick connector cable, but since you have access to multiple I2C devices on the driver, you can daisy chain them to control multiple motors at the same time. And coding is as simple as calling three variables, motor name, direction, and speed. Uh, now don't be alarmed if your motors don't spin up immediately. If you're using the demo code like I am here, your redboard is going to do an enumerating search to see if there are any slave drivers behind the master driver. Once that task is completed, it's on its way. Oh, hey, look, that reminds me, Halloween's coming up. And if you haven't yet started your amazing light up sound activated costume, now is the time to get on that. So for fast hookup, clean wiring and simple coding, the SparkFun Quick Motor Driver will have you and your bot up and running in no time. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Up and running in no time. Grab your. <laughs> I forgot to put it down when I was going to. All right, well, actually, I had an extra one because I didn't like how the googly eyes were set on one of them. The SparkFun Quick Motor Driver, clean wiring and simple coding. I forgot to listen. <laughs> I keep lots of junk. The SparkFun Quick Motor Driver thingy. <laughs> motor Driver will have you, you and your, that's all, folks. <laughs>